Hello, my name is Philip, and I'm the author of the Unsure Calculator and the Unsure Notation. And I want to give you a really quick walkthrough. Um, so the idea is very simple. Instead, or on top of normal numbers, you can calculate with ranges when you're not so sure about some things. So let's say you have a side project, like a home improvement project, or an art project, or a gig, or whatever and you try to find out how many weeks it will take you to complete this and so like let's say there's five parts of this project and a, each uh, part will take about seven hours and you know that on any given week you can uh, you can work on this project for let's say three hours and now you compute this and this will tell you oh you're probably going to work on this project for 12 almost 12 weeks right so that's already pretty cool stuff because I mean and you can do this with any calculator and um, uh, because this this gives you some idea of how that might work out but the thing is you're not really sure about much of these right uh, it's really not like you don't know if it's seven hours uh, or six hours or five hours even or ten hours um, and same here and you would like to find out okay so how does that translate to the the length of the whole deal so the the idea of the unsure notation is basically you can use the tilde this is this this thing here uh, so I could do like Oh, I, so I, there's five parts of this project, but it will take anywhere between five to 10 hours. And um, I will have two to five hours per week to work on this project, right? So it's similar, but it's, it really, the calculation now encompasses the whole kind of range of possibilities. And, and now I can compute this. This will actually take some time because, you know, and uh, let's not look at the histogram yet, but now I have a good idea of like, oh, it, this might uh, take any anything between six to 20 weeks to complete, right? So instead of just like having, oh, oh it's gonna be 12 weeks, I now know that it could be as much as 20 weeks. Um, if if really all these things are correct, right? And um, more over, if you really want to dig into it, you can look at what the what like the probable outcomes will be. So this is something that we call a histogram. You don't really need to to, to dig into it if you don't want to, but but you sure can. And you can see that you know most probably it will be somewhere in the area of let's say what does it say like 7 to 15 weeks um, instead of again having just one single number and not knowing where it lands in this in this area and you can go th this the entry calculator which is in philipage.github.io slash um it, it gives you a lot of ideas of how to use this and a lot of different examples that you can just copy paste into the calculator itself and you know modify uh, and obviously hopefully this will be practical even if for for things that I haven't thought of obviously um, so that that's it that's the answer calculator if you're a geek um, then you might be interested in looking into the source code and even running the Unsure calculator on um, in um, in a, the command line, which is something that you might want to do if you do lots of these calculations, for example. Uh, but uh, otherwise, this is just fine. You can open this on a mobile phone. You can open it on a web website. This does not submit your numbers to any server. This The whole calculation happens in the browser window, uh, which also means it's kind of slow. Uh, but that's it. Uh, so anyway, thank you for watching and uh, uh, you will find lots of information on how to contact me through this link. Um, thank you.